Oh, it's hooked right in the corner of the mouth. He's going to get off any second. Look at this beast. Ah, uh, I'm going to lose him. I'm going to lose this fish. I guarantee it. Stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Sneaking a caught with like a 12 and a half inch gizzard shad in his throat. Yup. No, they'll eat some big baits. Here we are today, folks. We're going out here. There's fall foliage on the trees. Not really digging that. That means it's getting to be the cold time of year. Gentleman in the back here, though, is a bad luck charm at this particular location. The fish just, the fish just don't like him, man. But we're going to try and figure it out regardless. And we'll see what happens. We're trying to fill the cooler. It's getting to be fall time. We're here to put meat in the freezer. We'll see how that goes. In the freezer? Yep. That's twisted. That's twisted. That's cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go fish. There's a leak. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I saw that. Just saw a blow up way down there. Yeah, it's so hard to discern movement when the wind's blowing like this. Now with snakehead fishing in pads like these, what you really want are calm days. Because that way, when the grass moves, when the pads move, you know it's likely a snakehead. When it's windy like this, <laughs> God help you. You really can't tell one movement from another in most cases. Luckily, eventually the wind calmed down for us tonight. And that's when the bite really picked up. Just had a fish go for it twice and miss it both times. All right, so right over here, we have a cut going through the pads over here to a scum slick on the water. Few areas are as textbook snakehead spots as this place is. It's got a lot of factors going for it. So I'm gonna start here, fan cast my way out and hopefully be interrupted by some hungry fish. I've already had two fish go for it. Both of them went for it twice. But on none of those hits did they actually get the lure in their mouth. At least not far enough for me to hook them. One of them got the blades, but that's it. There was a fish right there. Always finish your retrieves. Don't do what I just did and be in a rush. Probably cost me that fish. Fudge muffin. So he was sitting in a more concentrated patch of pads. Not too far from shore. Movement. He missed it. Remember folks, when they go to hit it, make sure they have it before you set that hook. It's a fundamental. Snakehead miss a lot. Keep it in the strike zone. A lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, they'll come back for it. And this one's still on it. If you watch closely around that lure, you can see him still on it. That was a big fish. That was a big fish, and he just refused to pull that trigger. Oh. Man, that was painful. I 
Yeah, I don't know where he is now. I think he's spooked. Fudge muffin. That was a good fish too. That was a really good fish. Ah, oh, God bless America. Stalk it that long and just would not take. I think I just saw him again. Yep. Gotcha! Oh, oh! Are you crying? No. Yes. <laughs> you, man. That was a big fish. <laughs> oh, I got way too excited. Way too excited. Uh, uh. You it was. <laughs> oh. Gotcha! Oh, wow! Oh, man! Oh! Bro! I'm a fish-losing machine! Remember, folks, when you get hits like this, or any hits on top water with Snakehead, stop, reel down, and make sure you have a full range of motion to set that hook. All right, head back in the game. I think I may have just found one. I don't know if it's the same one I missed or not. Oop. I'm gonna try to eat my line. Whew. There's a snakehead right in front of me, right next to me. So I'm about to go down behind the clouds. I'm getting to the time of year where I actually want the sun to stick around. Oh, oh, movement. More movement. You missed it. Stay on. Stay on. All right. We might land one, folks, and it's a big one. 
Oh, it's hooked right in the corner of the mouth. He's going to get off any second. Look at this beast. Ah, uh, I'm going to lose him. I'm going to lose this fish. I guarantee it. Oh, stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please, please, please stay hooked. Come on, come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes, I got our own grips, bro. Whew. Look at that. Hold on, let me get my rod out of the way, if I can. Give y'all a better view. <sighs> Put my rod in between my legs, I guess. There we go. There we go, look at that. That is a gorgeous fish. Well, folks, with landing that one really solid fish, that kind of rounded out the day. Now, Rashawn, meanwhile, had caught a really, really nice one. I think he came in just under 11 or 12 pounds. I'll show you that picture here. But to comment on what went right and what went wrong today. So first of all, a lot went wrong more than it went right. And that really comes down to my own mistakes. I hadn't been snakehead fishing in probably about three weeks at this point, so my skills were more than a little rusty. And when those fish were hitting on top, Granted, a lot of times I was making sure they had it before I set the hook. That's good. But what I was messing up with more than anything else was setting the hook way too quickly. Had I given those fish more time after they had hit, I probably would have hooked up with them. At the same time, I should have been reeling down after they hit, reeling down, pointing my rod right at them as low as I can get it so I can get maximum range of motion on that hook set and maximum power with it. If you don't have those things, setting the hook into those hard mouths of those snakehead, it's going to be a tough day for you, as it was here for me. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed it, folks. Hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.